Hey guys, welcome back. Today I've got a few tools here that I found at some thrift stores. And for these four tools, two skinny nails, pliers, an adjustable, and a screwdriver, I paid $2 for these. So I'm gonna fix these up, get them back in usable condition. And I'll show you how to take these tools and turn them into this. Alright, so the first set I'm going to fix is the skinny nose pliers right here. Um, you can tell one of the tips have been broken off already, so I need to go ahead and fix that. I'll probably cut off the other tip at the same length, as well as clean up the metal and then the handles as well and see how well I can get this working. Um, I don't have a pair of skinny nose pliers like this yet, so it'll be handy to have some that are this extreme. So I'll start today by taking it over to my grinder and I'm going to be putting a little bit of pressure on this, not much because I don't want to heat up the metal. That will cause it to soften and lose its strength. So I'm slowly grinding this off, I keep dipping it in water to cool it down and then keep working. Once both of the tips are at the same length, I'm going to take it over to my sander to finish shaping it. Now I'm going to take it back over to my brush on my grinder to finish taking off any of the rust and build up the thumb pliers. Now that I have it all shaped and cleaned up, there are some spaces that the sander and grinder miss, so I'm gonna take some sandpaper by hand and finish shining up the metal. Everything looks good. I've got it all cleaned up. The tips are straight. There's just one spot I noticed I missed was on the inside of the pliers, so I'm gonna go ahead and sand that down, and then I need to fix the grips. All right, so these grips seem to be glued onto the pliers. I can't take them off to work on them, but the edge on the top is all uneven. So I'm gonna take a knife and just clean up that edge and cut off just a little excess on those handles to make it look a lot nicer. All right, that finishes up these pliers. They look great, I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna move on to the next pair of pliers and fix those up. You can see that it might be bent a little bit towards the tip, so I, I might need to bend that back a little bit, see what I can do. Um, it's pretty stiff, so I'll need to oil that up, get that cleaned up, and the metal's starting to rust, so I'll buff that. Um, get it all shiny again and then oil it up so it doesn't rust again. I'm going to start by taking off the handles on these. They aren't glued on so I should be able to get these off. That way I can clean up the, the pliers without worrying about damaging the rubber. I'm going to start this time with the wire brush because there is so much buildup on this and rust. So I want to see what the damage is before I start. So I'm going to clean that up real quick. Now it's back to my sander again, and same applies to this. I don't want to overheat the metal, so I end up having to dip this in water several times in order to keep the metal at a good temperature. But I'm gonna use my sander to just clean up the metal so that it takes off all the rust and pitting so that it's just the metal showing. All right, 
right now that I have this cleaned up, I'm going to finish it off with sandpaper by hand to get any of the spots that the sander could not reach. Now that it's all cleaned up, I'm going to finish it off by putting the handles back on and cleaning up that rubber a little bit as well as oiling the metal so that it doesn't rust again. So that finishes up this pair of pliers. I'm happy with it, so I'm gonna move on again to the next tool to fix that up. Next, I'll be cleaning up this adjustable, and it's pretty stiff right now, so I wanna get in there, clean up all that grease that's in there, oil it so it moves smoothly. Also, there's a lot of junk just built up, so I'm gonna clean it, and then towards the tip right here, you can see it's been abused, the metal is mushrooming out the side, and it's not quite square anymore. So I'm going to take this apart, um, sand down these uh, edges right here so it's straight again, and then sand down the inside so it's nice and square, and that hopefully will clean it up and make it usable again. I'm going to start by disassembling this. Most adjustable wrenches have a set screw that holds the barrel in place. That barrel allows you to adjust the wrench to whatever length you need it to be. So I'm going to take that screw out, which allows me to take the barrel out and clean that, as well as the arm that adjusts the wrench. So I'm going to take this over and sand these both down and clean them up. The wrench is basically finished, sanding it down to shape. So I'm going to assemble it, take it over to my bench, and then start wire brushing to take any of the grease off. After I'm done with this, I'm going to take a file and close the wrench down on the file and use that to square back up the two edges so that they'll meet in the middle perfectly. And with that, it will finish up my adjustable and I'll move on to the next tool. Next, I'll be fixing up this old screwdriver right here. It's pretty badly bent. It looks like somebody used it to pry something open. So I'm going to go ahead and bend that back straight and then clean up the metal. This is r rusting quite a bit, so I want to see how shiny I can get that as well as clean up the handle and make that pretty again. I'm going to start sanding this by hand, but it won't take me very long to realize that there's a better way. So I'll need to first straighten the end of the screwdriver before I proceed. I'm going to take a hammer and start straightening the screwdriver, but you want to be careful not to bend it too much or any more than you have to, because you'd never know at what point this metal is going to crack and break off because it is hardened steel. So I'm going to just go slowly and carefully and straighten this out. Now that I have the screwdriver straightened, now I can attach it to my drill and make this process a whole lot easier by using the drill to sand it down the rest of the way. Now I need to tighten up the flange on the end, it wobbles a little bit, so I'm going to take my awl and stick it in those dimples that hold it down to the wood and just tap on that a few times and that tightens it up. And that finishes up my screwdriver. Now all I need to do is oil it up so that it protects the wood as well as the metal from rusting again.
All right, guys, that just about finishes off these tools. I'm gonna add a little bit of WD-40 to help them move a little bit easier. But I can't believe the transformation from the tools that I found at the thrift store for only two bucks for all of these. And now they look almost new. So I'm super excited about this, adding a few more tools to my collection without having to go out and spend all the money for new tools. All right guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know I'm super happy with how these tools turned out, but I'll show you guys one last time the before and after of these tools. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one.